Hi everybody, this is Jenny and welcome to part three of our How to Rasterize series. This one is going to focus on distressing in ProRip. So let's get started. Okay, this is the image that we're going to work on. I created this in Photoshop and we're going to bring it into ProRip and distress it using the effects distress plugin. So let's get started. So I'm using the latest version uh, Pro Rip with the Smart Cut integration that's going to be released in just a few days. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm using my iColor 800 for this and I'm going to create a print mode specifically for this. So let's do it. Uh, the first thing I want to do is come over here to Color Adjust. Now I make my blacks the blackest as possible and that is my preset for every single cue. So Personally, if you want your blackest blacks, bring that black all the way. I'm going to uncheck ink removal because there may be some partial transparency and I don't want to get any stray lines or holes in there. Uh, choke is 3. White coverage for the 800 is 210. Yours may be 200 depending on what machine you're using. So now I'm going to click OK. I'm going to come up to my queue and I'm going to go to Properties color layer, printer options, sorry, processing options, and make sure that your color boost is set to 10. That is very important so the colors will show through um, at their fullest in, in any transparent areas. So now I'm just going to hit hmm, create print mode and I'm going to call it distress as you see here. Hit save and I'm going to say yes because I already had that print mode. Now I'm going to hit OK and now I'm going to pull in my graphic. So I have loaded this file in the White Toner Transfer Success Facebook group so you are free to download it if you are a member. If not, be sure to join our group. So I'm going to rotate this 90 degrees. Now in the new version they have this really cool new thing that says center at the top of the page. Now if you're like me, I need just a little room to pull um, on a dense image. So I'm going to change our size here to 11 and I'm going to use this cool new feature center at the top of the page and that's going to give me about an inch to pull down here. So now that we have that all worked out, I'm going to go to Jobs, Effects, Distressed, and it's going to take me a second to resize this, but I want to get it as big as possible so you guys can see it. I'm going to reset my presets because yours will certainly look different. So if you ever need to do that, you're going to go to Presets, Reset. Okay, and this is what um, your screen should look like. So let's take a care of a few housekeeping items. We're going to click on this highlight color and we're going to make that black because we want to use the knock me blackout feature. So I'm going to hit OK. We're going to go over to generated texture and do the same thing. Um, it's almost black but not quite so we're going to change that to black also just by clicking here. I'm going to hit OK. Then we're going to come back over to the main screen and change our threshold. This one's going on a black shirt, so we're going to change our threshold from light colors to threshold dark colors. And now let's take a look at what all of these look like. And we're going to move our presets masks to 100. So now you can see what all these different preset masks look like. So this first one is a fabric. Uh, this and it has a lot of black in it and that's what we're looking for is a pattern that has a lot of black in it uh, and and not gigantic pieces of black so let's go through the first few so the brickwork this is brickwork then we have carpet one that has a lot of nice black in it we have distressed one BW not sure what that stands for distressed one WB and distressed two uh, there's several others down here that you can look at, but they really didn't have enough black in them, in my opinion. So we're going to stick with these up here. So let's start with carpet. And then you're just going to bring this threshold down 
until the only thing you see is black. So I'm going to increase our scale just so we can see if we have any of the any kind of gray artifacts in there, which I know you can't see it, but we definitely do. So I'm going to bring my threshold down a little bit. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Now I'm going to bring my scale down. And if you bring it all the way to the all the way down, you can see it just gives you a lot of little black dots. And that may work for you. I think it might be a little too small to marry. So I'm just going to bring my scale up until it gives me a little bit different look. So I think that looks pretty good at a scale of 2.7, maybe a little bit bigger. Okay, and then you can rotate this. Uh, to change the angle of this preset carpet mask. So we're going to go with this one. I'm going to click OK. And it is going to take a minute to render and it may say not responding up at the top. Okay, so now our image has rendered and what we want to do next is go to Jobs, Production Plugins, Knock Me Blackout. And let me increase this just a little bit. So it's knocked out the black in the text and it's knocked out most of everything else. But if you look carefully, you'll see that there are in fact some gray um, artifacts in there. So all we're going to do is we can either move our midtones down to get rid of that And let's show the underbase here. Or we can reset that and we can change the transparency until the, that gray is gone. And so that looks like our gray is gone there. So that's our image. And again, you want to make sure that your color boost is at 10. So now let's show it with our shirt color, which is black. And all I did was check that box. And so that looks good. We're going to hit OK. And next we're going to rip it to make sure that we have uh, toner removal. OK, right click, rip only. Right click, view raw data. And that's what we get. So let me just increase the size a little bit. And you can see there are a little, um, a, a little bit of gray in there, but I think that will also help with the transition from the color of the design uh, to the shirt color. So let's hit this. Everything you see here that's black is going to be toner, and everything you see that's white is going to be your shirt fabric. So I think we're good to go there. I'm going to go ahead and close that out. If you want to, you can hit the checkbox to see what it's going to look like. And this thing is ready to print. So you'll just press print and marry and press it to your shirt. Okay, so this time, let's see what happens if we put it on a white shirt. So let's go ahead and bring our image in. We're staying with the Unit, Uninet two-step standard distress queue. We're going to rotate it, change our height just to give us a little more room, come up here to the center to the top of the page. Now we're going to go down to Jobs, Effects, Distressed, and let me go ahead and make that bigger. Okay, so this time we're going to go with Threshold Light Colors. And let's go with the default this time. And this time we're going to move our threshold the other way. And you can play with the scale, make it really small, 
really big. But this looks good to me, right, right about here, I think. You can rotate it if you'd like. Uh, but I'm going to go with this, and I'm just going to click OK. And this time, we're going to use the Knock Me Color Out feature. So let's wait for that to render, and once it does, we'll knock out the color. OK, it's now rendered. We're going to go up here to Jobs, Production Plugins, Knock Me Color Out. And it's automatically, the Knock Me Color Out is automatically defaulted to white. So let's go ahead and see if that worked. And I want to keep the black text uh, in there. So let's show our underbase. And everything you see here in white is going to be your shirt. And everything you see in black is going to be your uh, toner. So let's make a change. Let's change our shirt color to white by clicking this box, hit OK. And so that's what it should look like on our shirt. So I'm going to click OK. Wait for it to render. Now I'm going to right click rip only. Right click view raw data. And now let's click on this to see. Yep. Yeah. So that's the, the black again is going to be your toner. The white is going to be your shirt. So I think that looks good there. And now all we have to do is press print. Okay, so this time um, I'm gonna show you a little bit different one. So let's bring our image back in. Rotate, change our height, center to the top. And if you don't have that yet, you can just go over here, center on the page. Let me show you how to do that. Center on the page, and then you can just um, do that. And that will still give you that space. All right, now we're going to go to Jobs, Effects, and Distressed. Let's make this a little bit bigger. Okay, so this time we're going to look at the generated textures. So I'm going to go back here and reset it again. Um, and this time, like I said, we're going to move, move to the generated texture. So let's change our highlight color again to black. And we're going to go over here to our presets. And we're going to check, we're going to use Cracked Up. Again, notice, I don't know if you did, but if you notice, this highlight color changed again. So I'm going to change it back to black. This time, I'm going to pull my preset mask down to zero, my generated texture to 100. We want our image desaturation to be zero. And we want our tint color to be zero. Now you can play with that if you want like an age or vintage look. You can keep that tint color, but for the purposes of this video, I do not want to do that. So I'm going to go over here to Generated Textures. And this time I'm going to put it on a white shirt again. So I'm going to choose my texture color as white. I'm going to hit OK. And that is what it would look like. Now you can go over here uh, and you can change these horizontal streaks if you want and make them bigger or smaller. You can change the vertical streaks to make those longer, like so. You can change the thickness, the, the noise, the contrast, which I'm going to turn that up to 100. And you can also go into this advanced mode here. And what I would tell you is, I did a video on this a couple months ago. It's called um, Borders and Distress Texture, and it goes into a lot more detail about these uh, different settings, and you can check that out. But we're going to stay in the basic mode. 
and I think that looks pretty good and so I'm just gonna hit OK and we're gonna wait for that to render okay it's rendered we're gonna go to jobs production plugins knock me color out again and I want to keep the black again because it's going on a white shirt and I like the black in that so let's increase our design here and if I just to make sure that that's all transparent if you can't see it there's these little checker boxes back here and that's what you're looking for so let's just show our shirt cut if it was black so you can see uh, using the transparent underbase or showing the underbase or the shirt color what it's going to look like so I think that looks pretty good so I'm just gonna hit OK and we are ready to print just for kicks let's rip it and I'm just gonna click on this and so that's the generated texture that we're going to use so I'm gonna close that out and print it so I hope this video has been helpful to you guys um, there's a lot of stuff in this distress section you know the distress sec section of ProRip play with it come up with some new designs um, I think it works better sometimes to use the distress texture on a white or colored shirt than it does the holes or lines it just looks a little more natural but uh, check it out and see what you think have a great day